por todo yo brindo Desde lo feo hasta lo lindo Tú eres una prueba que el mundo a mí nunca me brinda. Quería casarme, yo tan loco en ilusionarme Creyendo en tus besos y tus caricias La verdad no fue el culpable todo tiene un propósito y dejarme será solo uno más Siempre a medias no he logrado encontrar mi What is going on everyone? I hope we're all doing sick Today I want to talk about mindsets and how you can change your mindset to a more productive mindset So you can stop yourself from smashing out the Xbox all the time or the PS4 Netflix, genuinely being lazy in your spare time rather than productive. In today's video, you will learn the subtle arts of having a growth mindset so you can work on your passion and even get paid for it. Have a relationship that thrives rather than is just good enough and gain knowledge and information on your passion so that you feel like you've got purpose. So without further ado guys, let's get into the video. The first thing you can do is stop seeking other people's approval. Now, seeking approval is deadly to a growth mindset. The reason for this is because you'll be constantly seeking approval from other people and that automatically limits you to the free... So guys, seeking approval is deadly to your growth mindset. It means you'll be constantly seeking other people's approval and straight away this limits you to the closest three to five people in your life as it is known that you're a reflection of who you spend time with the most. You can only assume that's whose approval you will be seeking. But either way guys, seeking other people's approval is only going to limit you and what you are capable of. Aim to impress yourself because you're the only person that's always going to be there for yourself. As weird as it sounds, you may have someone in your life right now that you can trust or whichever, but whether they'll be there in 10 years time, you just don't know. A good idea may be to listen to a podcast on self-acceptance or listen or read a book or audio book on this sort of subject. Self-acceptance is massively important when it comes to a growth mindset and it allows you to be at one with yourself. Trust me, as I say, listen to an audio book or a podcast, it's a lot easier than you think it is. Number two, guys, pursue a sense of purpose. Now, I'm going to be honest, I actually prefer the word passion. I believe the word passion is much more meaningful. Your passion describes you as a person a lot. I'm passionate about self-improvement and getting the best out of people alongside exercise. Do you feel like you're currently passion driven? Obviously with the whole lockdown situation, it's very tough to stay motivated, to stay productive. But when you think about it, have you been productive or have you been lazy? Being lazy is not a bad thing. It's just doing something to counter measure it when you realize you're being too lazy and you need to crack on with something. Your passion will change over time as you explore what it is you actually enjoy doing. Now, some people can find a passion like that, some people already know. For others, however, it can be a very hard thing to find as it takes a lot of exploring to find it. Finding your passion is a lot more common now. It's a growing trend. There's so much out there now on the internet and books, all your books, podcasts. Like I've said many times before, there's so many things out there that can help you find your passion. But as I say, it's a growing trend now and clearly the 
your journey is worth it. There are so many people out there working on their passion and getting paid for it. Why wouldn't you want to be one of them? I know for me, I would prefer to work on something I enjoy doing every single day and getting paid less than I would work on something I hate every single day and get paid more. However, what you put in is what you get back, so you could be earning unlimited amounts of money. When you think you have found something that is even the slightest bit enjoyable for you, this is where the pursue part comes in. Pursue it because you don't know where that could take you. That could open up so many different doors to something you enjoy doing and give you a whole new look on life. Even if it's for a few days, become obsessed with it, you know, listen to audio books on it, read articles, blogs, podcasts, really divulge into it. And if you get bored, then you know you don't enjoy it and you can move on to the next thing. If you've looked into it and you've got bored of it and you decide it's not for you, at least you learn something from the process. But with that being said guys, it's time to do back and shoulders again. I showed you my shoulders workout last week. I will show you the back this week. This is gonna be hell. Yeah. Yeah. Yes guys, so we finished up in the home gym and I just got some food down me. I won't lie to you, I definitely feel like these home workouts are getting harder. I don't know if it's a new split or the fact that we're constantly at home, but the workouts, they're not getting easier. But with that being said guys, number three, take risks. So guys, I know obviously, taking risks is a lot harder for some than it is for others and that's mainly down to the fact that it you know it's a risk they bring out a lot of anxiety stress you know negative emotions that people don't want to bring about to themselves because it's challenging yourself but that's exactly it there's no better way to grow your mindset than to put yourself in a position where you are almost forced to to change the way you think and act around people it will force you to put yourself in a position that you haven't been in before. I'm not talking order something different from your takeaway because some risks, they just shouldn't get taken. You order what you want from your takeaway when it comes to it. But what I am saying guys is be a bit more optimistic in life, you know, take some more risks. Travel on your own, risk getting turned down, put it all on the line, miss out on something to achieve something bigger in your life. Taking risks will straight up change your mindset and how you approach situations in life. It will change it for the good and the bad, but it, overall it will make it more exciting for when 
you are telling stories or whichever later on in the future. Don't get me wrong, unforeseen opportunities will definitely arise on this. It gives you the mindset that you can go ahead and do anything when you take a risk and pull it off. Some of the best things that will happen to you in your life will happen because you took a risk. Now, I could go on about personal growth and improving your daily mindset all night, but I'm not going to. Let me know if you want to see another video like this one on growth, on mindsets, on how you can become the best version of yourself. Tell me down below in the comments what risks you have taken during lockdown. I know I've taken a few. I'm gonna go nail some ice cream. I'll put the macros on screen there. It's actually the cheap one from the co-op, but I don't care. With that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next. Peace.